So what we're going to be looking at here um, our calculations once again using the mole kingdom um, but in this case we're going to focus on the left hand side of uh, the mole kingdom so we're going to be converting from moles into molecules or atoms and the opposite direction from atoms and molecules into moles so the approach is very similar to what we looked at or, or how we did the mass to mole calculations um, the main difference though is that we're going to be utilizing Avogadro's number Avogadro's number is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of whatever the substance is, whether it's atoms, molecules, um, ions, whatever. Okay, and in this case, we're going to be looking at molecules per one mole. Okay, so this is the conversion factor that we're going to be utilizing um, for the conversions on this left-hand side of this chart. Okay, so if we look at the problem that we've been given, it asks us to calculate how many molecules, so we know we're going to be ending up in atom land, okay, and we look at what we've been given. So we've been given 2.3 moles of carbon monoxide. Okay, so what we've been given always gets put in this first box here. So 2.3 moles of carbon monoxide. That's the chemical formula um, for carbon monoxide. We know that from our nomenclature. And we're going to have our moles of carbon monoxide. And so we want to go from moles into molecules. So in order to get out of the kingdom, we know we're going to be using multiplication. And we're going to be multiplying by Avogadro's number. So 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules per one mole of CO is what we're going to be utilizing. Now, once again, we're going to multiply by the numbers that are on the top and divide in whatever's left on the bottom. And that's going to give us that's going to give us 1.38 times 10 to the 24th. Now, um, we have two significant figures in, a, in our number here, so our answer is going to have two sig figs. So our final answer in terms of numerical value is going to be 1.4 times 10 to the 24th. Now, just like we have done in the past, we need to do unit evaluation. We have moles of carbon monoxide and moles of carbon monoxide canceling here. So molecules of carbon monoxide is what we're going to be left over with, or excuse me, what we're going to have left over. So molecules of CO is what we're going to have here. So that will be our final answer. We've gone from the mole kingdom into atom land. So we've converted from moles to molecules. Um, and we subsequently um, check our significant figures as well as um, our unit evaluation. Now in this uh, problem here, we're once again going to be looking at the left-hand side of our um, mole kingdom flow diagram. But in this situation, we've been given um, a different given. So in this case, uh, they want us to calculate the number of moles of carbon dioxide contained in a balloon with 345 molecules of carbon dioxide. Okay, so we have a balloon that has 345 molecules, and we want to know how many moles those 345 molecules comprise. Okay, so in this case, our given is molecules. So we're going to be starting in atom land, and they want us to solve for the number of moles. So we're going to go from atom land into the mole kingdom. So once again, we're going to be using Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, and once again, it's going to be molecules per mole. All right. So what we've been given, which is what we've been given, is 345 molecules of CO2, carbon dioxide. Okay, and we want to go from um, molecules into moles. So we're starting in atom land and we're going into the kingdom. Remember, anytime we're going into the kingdom, we're dividing and conquering. So we have 345 molecules. That's going to be divided by Avogadro's number. So 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd goes down here at the bottom. Okay, that's molecules of CO2 per one mole of CO2. Okay, and once again, we're going to calculate by multiplying the numbers that are on the top and dividing in the numbers that are on the bottom. Now that's going to give us 5.728 times 10 to the negative 22nd. Okay, now if we do that to the appropriate number of significant figures, we have three sig figs here. Okay, so that's going to give us 5.73 times 10 to the negative 22nd. Okay, 
And then we need to check our units. Molecules of CO2 and molecules of CO2 um, cancel out, so moles of CO2 are left over. Okay, so our final answer for this is 5.73 times 10 to the negative 26 moles of CO2. So 345 molecules of carbon dioxide, or CO2, um, gives you a very small quantity of moles.